All right guys, so as you guys know, my last video, I did a video about the Apple MagSafe battery pack. Okay, I've been waiting for this product for a long freaking time. There's been a lot of companies that have created products that are similar to this, but I really wanted to see Apple make this product. And finally, around 10 months later, they finally released this product. This person on Twitter that I recently saw um, got it. I don't, know, I don't really know how they got this product so fast because obviously, if you ordered it, you're not going to get it until probably the end of this week or mid this week, something like that. So, but this guy already has the Apple MagSafe battery pack. I have no idea how. His name is Steven Russell. If you guys want to follow him, if you guys want to check him out. Um, but basically, he made it on the front page of Mac Rumors. That's actually how I saw these these photos in the first place was Mac Rumors released these photos earlier today. And basically, these just show pictures of the Apple MagSafe battery pack. I believe this is an iPhone 12 Pro Max. I believe it, it looks like it's at least an iPhone 12 Pro, but by the looks of it, he has an iPhone silicone white case on this um, on his phone. So as you guys know, on the Apple MagSafe battery pack, you can only get one color, which is white. I feel like they should have released other colors, like maybe black. Black and white would have been a good color option, but I, cause I feel like the white is gonna get super dirty and just not gonna look good over time. Um, but as you guys can see, the white on the battery pack versus the white on the silicone case are a little bit different shades of white, which I'm not really a huge fan of. I really wish they made it the same exact shade of white. He also said this is like a smooth, hard plastic. It's not like a silicone feel like the silicone cases for the iPhone. So I honestly thought it was gonna be like that same kind of texture as the iPhone silicone cases, that kind of grippy kind of feel on the silicone cases. But I guess it's gonna be like more of a hard kind of plastic, which I'm fine with, not a huge deal. I think it would be better for wear and, wear and tear anyways, just to have a kind of harder plastic on that battery pack. He also says the magnets are very strong, which I want to test it out because as you guys know on the Apple wallets, if you guys have tested that out or if you guys have the Apple wallet, the magnets on that wallet are just not that strong. When I first, um, you know, did a review or a video about the Apple leather um, wallet, the, I was not not impressed with the magnets. Like when I first unboxed it, I was like, okay, these magnets are obviously not strong enough. Okay, I mean that, Oh, I don't know about that, dude. But then I realized you're gonna be taking on and off because it's your wallet. You know, you're gonna take it off, pull your card, pull your card out, put it, your card back in, and then put the wallet back on your phone. You're not gonna really take the card out um, from the phone. So I kind of can see why the magnets aren't as strong on that one. So he says the magnets aren't strong on this, which are good because obviously this is a battery pack. It's supposed to stay connected on your phone. So I'm glad that the batteries are really strong on this accessory. And on Apple's website, they say that if you have the leather case and you wanna add this accessory on the leather case, it's gonna leave a little mark on the leather case just because you know the magnets are a lot stronger. So it's gonna put more pressure on the leather case. He also says that you can charge your AirPods um, Pro, you know, your wireless charging case on this accessory, which is pretty cool. It looks kind of awkward in my opinion, but you could do that if you wanted to do that. So you could use this for your iPhone and your AirPods, which is really, really helpful, especially if you're going, you know, if you're flying, if you're on a little trip or something like that, you can always connect your AirPods if your AirPods are dying and then you can charge your iPhone. Very useful um, accessory. So this can be used for your iPhone and AirPods, which is just another plus. So yeah, this obviously does look like it's pretty much two iPhones stacked on top of each other. That's kind of what the thickness is looking like for me. So it also does look like this is gonna be using a lightning port on the Apple battery pack, which I kind of expected that to be. Um, and then it has this little dot right next to it. I'm guessing that's probably a light indicator um, when it's charging, it's probably gonna be green and stuff like that. So, I mean, that's kind of what I expected the Apple logo on the battery pack kind of expected that. I kind of honestly would wish it would be in the middle of the battery pack, not on the top, but I mean, what are you gonna do? It still looks good. It still looks very clean and modern, which I do like. As soon as I get this product in hand, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and review. So if you guys want to watch that, there's, I mean, the YouTube is gonna be packed with them obviously when they come out, but yeah, guys, if you guys wanna follow this guy, Steven Russell, that's where I got the photos from. Shout out to you. I don't know how you got it so freaking early, but congratulations, hopefully you enjoyed it. Looks like he he's liking it so far, so that's really, really good news because he seems like the only person in the world that has it right now. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe. Also, stay tuned for when I unbox this review and get my own personal thoughts about it, um, and that'll be coming up later this week probably. So yeah, guys, I'll see you guys later. Peace.